What's going on guys? So today Infinity Ward released three brand new multiplayer maps for Xbox 360 Call of Duty Elite members. As a part of their September DLC, the final DLC for Modern Warfare 3. So uh, this map right here is called Gulch and it is definitely the biggest out of the three DLC maps that were released today. And um, just more or less as a side note, um, more uh, just some one thing that I noticed, this map is uh, visually really, really nice looking. Um, it seems like a lot of time went into this map and a lot of detail went into this map and there are just uh, certain aspects that I really find uh, quite nice. And and um, I think it looks very, very nice. And uh, when you get toward the very edge of the map, toward the sea flag, and you look over, um, basically you're standing on top of a waterfall, and you're looking over at uh, essentially what looks like the Grand Canyon, and uh, it just looks really nice. And I thought that uh, the map uh, was visually very, uh, very pleasing to the eye. So uh, it's a very nice map. It's a very big map, and it appeals to pretty much all types of players. Um, it's primarily an assault rifle map but um, definitely a sniper map as well as you can see right there I'm getting sniped by that guy standing on top of the rock uh, but uh, submachine guns are definitely going to uh, uh, gonna have a good time on this map as well I personally would definitely recommend uh, ACR, scar -L, Type 95, something like that. Or if you're a decent sniper, definitely a, a sniping map as well. There are plenty of long lines of sight and um, plenty of uh, high points, low points, stuff like that, where you can get a pretty good vantage point on the enemy and on the different spawns, as well as, uh, as the different flags if you're playing like uh, Domination. So uh, I would definitely recommend a medium to long range weapon or, or a sniper and uh, I think that's going to be your best bet when playing this map. Um, as far as the spawns go, the spawns in this map are okay. Uh, they're a little, uh, little messed up sometimes, especially on the A side. When you're playing Domination and your team has, uh, well actually, I, I should say, uh, the A is not as bad as the C spawn now that I think about it. Uh, when you're playing Domination and you have the A and the B and the enemy has the C flag, you can essentially sit in one kind of area, one little little corridor next to the mountain and um uh, basically you're gonna watch them spawn so I have to say that the seaside is definitely a spawn trappable area a side a little bit but not as much C if you can ha have the enemy take C and you get a and B you're gonna have a pretty easy time at uh, spawn trapping them and it's a little bit frustrating I think I'm not sure if I do it in this particular match but in one match earlier on today I was playing some domination on this map and uh, my team was spawn trapping them at sea so hard I felt so bad because they uh, this seriously on the seaside the uh, the spawns are very close together and you really can't get out of the sea spawn the a spawn is a little bit different the spawns are kind of sporadic on the a side sometimes they'll spawn behind me sometimes they'll spawn over by this waterfall or over in the buildings over there where those guys are so uh, the a side is a little bit easier to get out of but like I said the seaside is uh, if you can spawn trap them at sea you're gonna have a pretty good game um, this map is pretty big so rushing is a little bit of a challenge but um, one thing that's really awesome about this map is there's a lot of ins and outs and ups and downs and a lot of different pathways and kind of uh, little crevices and stuff like that. A lot of bushes for cover, so uh, rushing is definitely going to be something to look into. Um, for the most part, there's a couple high parts of this map, but for the most part, uh, it's basically split up into two levels. This ground level in the middle, um, basically where the river is, and then this upper level where um, is basically the outer rim of the map. And uh, there are a couple high points at the beginning of the match you guys saw that I was getting sniped. And um, there are a couple buildings where there's like a second and third story to a building with like ladders or ways to get up to it. So there are a couple high points in this map that you need to be aware of but for the most part it's a two level uh, two level map and um, you just kind of have to, to be aware of your surroundings there really uh, isn't that many um, tricky parts to this map uh, if you guys saw my boardwalk video I talked about how there were a lot of different entrances and exits and a lot of different ways to get to specific places on this particular map for the most part everyone is going to be coming uh, one or two ways and that's about it there uh, there's no real way to constantly be uh, there's no real reason to constantly be looking back left and right and all around you um, for the most part you're gonna know where everyone's at 
and there's not going to be too many surprises. One thing that I do want to mention, oh, actually, uh, let me just talk about killstreaks uh, real fast. Uh, killstreaks are definitely big on this map. Um, as for me, I was running, I believe, Predator Missile, AH6, and Pavlo, and there are pretty much no places to hide in this map. There's like one or two buildings in this back area where you can uh, kind of get away from the air support, but uh, if you can get an AH6 or a Pavlo or attack helicopter or anything like that on this map in particular, uh, even more than the other two uh, DLC maps, this map is definitely the air support map. Uh, if you can get an air support, you're going to get a lot of kills because they're really, uh, they're, they're, bottom line, there isn't that much uh, cover. There aren't many places to hide, so uh, air support I would definitely recommend. Um, one thing I do want to mention that I thought was uh, a little interesting, this map looks really kind of similar. It gives me the, the same feel as the windmill map from the Black Ops 2 uh, uh, multiplayer trailer that came out a while ago. I don't know when I saw this map and I played it. That's just kind of what it reminded me of. It looks uh, obviously very different, but um, it just kind of it got me that feel. When I looked at the mini map, it looked kind of the same, and the surroundings were the same. I don't know. It just it uh, almost got me in the Black Ops 2 mood because this is the uh, the final DLC, uh, you know, the final month for DLC for Modern Warfare 3. So it's a little disappointing, um, but uh, we're, we're we're gearing up for Black Ops 2, and um, I'm excited. I, I'm I'm gonna give you guys all of the Black Ops 2 DLC, uh, just like I have been with Modern Warfare 3. I'm really excited to see how they're going to implement the DLC with Black Ops 2. I'm really hoping that they have some Zombies DLC, maybe some different game modes, some different game types, stuff like that. Um, I, I'm just kind of, I'm excited I'm, and I'm interested to see how they're going to implement uh, the DLC. And I'm really interested to see how the, the maps are going to look because uh, when I saw them, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't really sure how how I would like them or if I would even like them. I watched uh, all of the different gameplays from like Gamescom and stuff like that and I'm still a little iffy. I'm still a little on the fence. They seemed uh, they seemed a little uh, little iffy to me so so we'll see. But back on topic, back on track, uh, enough Black Ops 2 stuff. Uh, this particular map is a great map. Um, like I said at the very beginning, very visually appealing. I, I, I like it. They did a good job. Um, at the very end of this map you'll see there's, uh, there's one part that's kind of weird. There's like this little pool that is very reflective in this cave and it kind of, it kind of weirded me out when I first saw it. I was like, is this a giant hole that I'm going to fall into? But uh, no, just the reflection of the mountain and uh, it looks really nice. So uh, yeah, like I said, this map is great. I I'm a big fan of it and I, I do really well on it in this game. I usually do well on this map. All the times that I played it today, uh, I've pretty much done uh, exceptionally well uh, in comparison to the other two DLCs. I think in this particular game, I got 50 something kills and like five deaths. Uh, air support, like I said, it was a very big part uh, of this game. Air support totally kicks ass on this map uh, so we definitely keep that in mind if you guys are interested in seeing the other two DLC maps, I'll have annotations uh, on the, somewhere on the screen so you guys can go check those out. Um, and if you guys missed any of the DLCs or are interested in looking back at some of the new maps from uh, from Modern Warfare 3, I have a whole bunch of videos talking about all of them. So uh, be sure to check out my channel. Hit that subscribe button for future Call of Duty videos, um, uh, Modern Warfare 3 videos, and then we're going to start transitioning into some, uh, some Black Ops 2 stuff, which is uh, pretty awesome. I'm pretty excited for that. Uh, hit that thumbs up button if you guys enjoyed. Um, like I said, said check out my channel for more call of duty modern warfare 3 videos and whatnot i'll cut this commentary about a minute short so you guys can enjoy the rest of the gameplay without my annoying voice uh but yeah like i said hopefully you guys enjoyed and i'll see you later Work is appreciated. Well done.